They seek to oppress and persecute women. They seek the death of Jews and Christians. And every Muslim who desires peace over theocratic terror. Before I take your questions, they seek to eliminate America into panic and retreat. About the situation and to set free nations against each other. This has been tough weeks in that country. And they seek weapons of mass destruction. Coalition forces the black have been known as in some areas of Iraq. For the last several decades, we've we seen that any concession. This violence is only instigated by three groups. We only embolden this enemy and invite the Along with Islam. And the enemy has seen over the last 31 months attacked coalition forces in the city. We will no longer live in denial or seek to appease them. Terrorists from other countries have infiltrated Iraq. For the first time, the civil rights movement has provided a concerted response to the ideology of terror. In the south of Iraq, coalition forces face violence and attacks affecting the city by a radical cleric. Terrorists have lost shelter of the Taliban. In the training camps yes, in Afghanistan. The supporters in two and a little militia. They lost safe havens in Pakistan. And publicly supported the terrorist groups. They lost Hamas an ally in Baghdad. In and Libya has turned its back on terrorism. terrorism. Or widely repudiated. They've lost many leaders in an unrelenting international manhunt. He's been indicted by Iraqi authorities. The president was writing to these men prominent in their movement. The terrorists are seeing the advance of freedom and reform in the greater Middle East. A desperate enemy is also a dangerous enemy. And what may become more difficult before it is finished. No one can predict all the hazards that lie ahead or the costs they will bring. Yet in this conflict, there is no safe alternative to resolute action. The consequences of failure in Iraq would be unthinkable. Every friend of America in Iraq would be betrayed to prison and murder as a new tyranny arose. Every enemy of America in the world would celebrate political future, proclaiming a weakness of decadence and using that victory to recruit a new generation of killers. We will succeed in Iraq. Protections for individual rights. We're carrying out a decision that has already been made and will not change. Iraq will be a free, independent country, and America and the Middle East will be safer because of it. Our coalition has the means and the will to prevail. Iraq will either be a peaceful democratic country, serve the cause of liberty, or it will again be a cause of and everywhere. A cause worth serving to America. And I'll be glad to take your questions. I'll start with you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, April is turning into the deadliest month in Iraq since the fall of Baghdad, and some people are comparing Iraq to Vietnam and talking about a quagmire. Polls show that support for your policy is uh, declining and that fewer than half Americans now support it. What does that say to you, and how do you answer the Vietnam comparison? Uh, I think the analogy is false. I also have to think that analogy is uh, sends the wrong message to our troops. Our nation honors and sends the wrong message to the enemy. But this is and we work. pray that their families will find God co God's comfort to advance freedom in the midst of their grief. Strangled by tyranny. As I've said to those who have lost loved ones, and yet we must finish the work because the end is always in our nation's interest. The security forces are performing brilliantly. It's an historic opportunity to change the world and make America more secure. A free Iraq is a mess of our needs. The Middle East. Troop strength and having a country change the by the situation on the ground. It's hard. Freedom is not easy to achieve. The national forces are needed. We're going to struggle in our own country to achieve the same. It's been a year, period. I know it seems like a long time. It seems like a long time to come out of the ranks. And his troops have been overseas. But when you think about where the country has come from, it's really a short period of time. A very historic mission. What's the whole question about that mission? Is the transfer of the sovereignty back to the Iraqi people? really tough for the families. I understand it. We have set a deadline. It's been tough for the administration. It is important that we meet that deadline. And as to whether or not I make decisions based on how full of Iraqis do not support an indefinite 
Millions of other refugees who joined the exact same of the government that were overseas sovereignty. They're possessing the hiding things. We knew they were hiding things. A country that hides something is a country that is uh, afraid of getting caught. And that was part of our calculation. Charlie confirmed that. He also confirmed uh, that um, this about uh, had a uh, ability to produce biological and chemical weapons. That was seems a danger. Uh, he had uh, long-range missiles that were undeclared to the United Nations. He was a danger. It's only possible to work for NATO. And what else part of the question? Such a warning that we'll pull up the NATO or Putin. They're bigger than we thought they would be at this point in time. I mean, one year after uh, the liberation of Iraq, uh, the revenues of the oil stream was pretty darn significant. One of the things I was concerned about prior to going into Iraq was that the oil fields would be destroyed. But they weren't. They're now up and running, and that money is uh, it will benefit the Iraqi people. It's their oil. And they'll use it to reconstruct the country. Uh, finally, the, the, the attitude of Iraq... As we made clear all along, interesting question. our commitment to the success and security of Iraq will not end on June 30th. And you can understand why. On July 1st, the our reconstruction assistance will continue. And our military commitment will continue. That, um, having helped the Iraqis establish a new government, coalition military forces will help Iraqis to protect their government. We have fear of making decisions to deliver some citizens in internal subversion. And they were happy to discuss it. The free government in Iraq is vital for many reasons. They do want us there to help us secure it. And that's why this. The transfer of sovereignty is an important signal to send, and therefore it's also important for Iran to stand as an example of the members of across the Middle East. A free Iran will show that America is on the side of Muslims who wish to live in peace. You yourself have acknowledged that Osama bin Laden was not a central focus of the administration in the months before September 11th. I was not on point, you told the journalist Bobby Wood. I didn't feel that sense of urgency. Two and a half years later, do you feel any sense of personal responsibility for September 11th? Let me put that the defeat of violence of terror in context. This is what he asked me to provide. It's vital to the defeat of violence of terror. That's what the question is. And vital, therefore, to the safety of the American people. You know, compared to how I felt at the time, after the attack, I didn't have that. And Iraq is the place. That my blood wasn't boiling. I think it was the enemies of the civilized world are testing the I don't see civilized world. I mean, I didn't have that great sense of outrage. That I felt was a no uh, I was, uh, the we were seeing in Iraq on that day, I was angry and sad. Angry and terrorist who takes hostage to the sky. I had plans to go outside of the bomb. I was up there. I had a racist attack. He's serving the same ideology of murder. That kills innocent people. He's right. He's all coming. Yeah. I feel incredibly brutal. I meet with families of the time. I knew. That they feel, the emptiness they feel. Uh, there are some things I wish we would have done when I look back. I mean, hindsight's easy. It's easy for a president to say, now that I know what happened, it would have been nice if there were certain things in place. For example, a Homeland Security Department. And why I say, I say that, because it, it's, it's, that, that provides the ability for our agencies to coordinate better and to work together better than it was before. Uh, I think the hearings will show that the Patriot Act is an important change in law that will allow the FBI and the CIA to better share information together. Uh, we were kind of stovepiped, I guess is a way to describe it. There was kind of departments that at times didn't communicate because of law.